good morning everybody. I am in the dining room and they have a big selection for breakfast. I'm just going to do some toast, fruit, and yogurt this morning. And last night I took um, a grab all, which is in the US they call it Dramamine. And so I slept very well. I woke up in the morning and the world was doing this and I was like, where am I? I'm like, oh yeah, I'm on a bowl. After breakfast, it's a mandatory briefing to check off everybody's name and make sure that you're here. I had two cups of coffee, so I need to cool it on the caffeine. Glad to see a selection of herbals. I'm very proud to say that actually the ocean-wide fleet is probably the closest thing I have to a home at the moment. I spent almost 10 months last year on the ocean-wide ship, so truly have the pole above. Everybody is trying on boots. To my cabin. There are four beds in here, two portholes, and no one is there. Um, there's one lady here from Japan, one lady from China, and I am up top. And I'm pleasantly surprised to come in that they did housekeeping and they even made my bed. So I don't have to even make my bed in the morning. What service? I have four remotes to figure out for two TVs. And it's <laughs> pretty difficult for me. Time and the theme is Thai style. So I don't know, like curry, vegetables, and pork belly, and um, Asian flavors. Not a lot of scenery on the go. The drink machine. You got coffee, espresso, blah blah blah, and Wiener Melage. What is Wiener Melage? You don't know what that is? Wiener Melage. It does not taste like wieners. It tastes good. With more exotic features, such as night vision, inflatable airbags. It's a very famous photo, by the way, and I know some people that believe that this, is, this image is just kind of made up, that Chris just put a piece of plastics in the stomach of this dead chick afterwards. Dedicated on what you do, on what we do, and we are going to ask you guys to always follow our instructions. Also, has a hood, yeah, and a right side zipper. Okay, thanks, Whether it's um, a biologist, a politician, uh, we have different definitions for what it is. So, we've got the, some people believe in touch just to keep a sense of size and scale in your mind when you start taking pictures, when you start appreciating what we're seeing. Okay, we're doing a video. So this is our first plated meal. We had to order in advance at lunch. And my starter is uh, melon and prosciutto. Also, look, this is the delicious dessert. But I am being the healthy one, and I have fruit. Frame your subject. That's very important. Uh, Tomorrow I'm really looking forward to because the whole day is chock full of lectures. This is a learning voyage. I'm all about learning. This is how I'm going to get the most out of my Antarctica trip. Chance to explain what happened in camping. So people who book the camping sign up well far in advance. I booked the ship last minute. They told me there's absolutely no opportunity for camping. And I tried, I, I emailed, I was like, is there a wait list? And they're like, no, but you can see when you're on the ship. So there were a few spaces available and there was like 30 people for five spaces. So it was a lottery and I had number three and they call like number 20 something number seven, 
number eight and I'm like oh I'm not gonna get a chance to go camping and then the next number they called was three and I shot my hand up me I was so happy I was so excited people in the room laughed because of my enthusiasm but I get to spend the night in Antarctica <laughs> this is gonna be so super cool and it's not in a tent I'm gonna be in a bivy sack hopefully gonna have clear skies and be able to see the stars Glaciers form from snow, okay? So I actually studied snow science, which is really, really nerdy. Um, and the idea here is that over time, if you imagine a place that's really cold and gets a lot of snow, if you pour a beer, poorly, like I do, and there's a lot of foam at the top, Lisa, she's a penguin, um, there's a bit of subspecies now to divide maybe between rock copy like the eyes are just too far apart. They look a bit odd. <laughs> And we can use on the weather seal, it's quite any ideas you have, okay? So we, we start with a sequence of images recorded in different hours and days and put together as a... Put together is from dense swarms up to 10,000 per meter cubed. And when you try to break that down into individuals, you're looking at trillions of individuals rather than millions or billions. Got to find seabirds in the world. As you can see here, they are all white. <laughs> We're through the worst parts of the Drake Passage. It was more like the Drake Lake rather than the Drake Shake. But now the stabilizers are off. Hard for me to keep the camera steady because it's starting to rock and roll down in my cabin. Now that the stabilizers are off, it's a little bit of surfing, rocking and rolling. Uh, today was another day at sea, so kind of dull, except we had so many educational seminars. See, I'm <laughs> moving around now because, woo! Um, uh, I am in Antarctica. I've passed the Antarctic conversion zone. So these are Antarctic waters passed somewhere in the middle of last night. And tomorrow I get to set foot on an island on land. So super exciting. And then tummy, on oh, my tummy. Oh. Hopefully, I won't fall off. <laughs> I heard there's straps underneath the mattress. If it gets much rulier, I'm gonna have to pull them out. Good night. <laughs>